Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello William. Greetings. Hello. You guys know what incels are? Yeah, man. No, just yeah, say yeah. just say no. Oh, it's funny no. you should ask, guys. Actually, an no. incel is no short for. Asking. It's short I for involuntary. Idiot. Right, you. It's short for involuntary celibate. Essentially, if you don't know what those two words mean, celibate is someone who doesn't have sex, and involuntary <laughs> means it's not their choice. And you fucking low. I paid a girl for a bottle of piss <laughs> and drank it in front of her as she laughed at me with her friend. What the? <laughs> the really sad thing is, despite feeling like shit for doing it, I'll probably do it again. Is that really <laughs> involuntary? <laughs> That's very voluntary, sir. <laughs> Got a couple empty island springs, you're gonna fill them all up. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Buxton? <laughs> I'm thinking about turning gay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that he had been cheating, called her a dumb slut, walked away. I was sitting at, at a bench drinking a soda and she sat down next to me. I didn't think much at first, but she asked, why are men such jerks? I replied, because some are born that way and some are made that way by the woman of the world. She sat quietly for about 20 seconds and then said, well hopefully you aren't. She then ended up giving me her number. Doubt if it's her actual number. Should I do something? Or let the Stacy move on to get used again? <laughs> Why are we still here just to suffer? <laughs> so this guy literally gets what he wants fucking handed to him. And he and still he complains. still manages to fuck it up. No, this this was posted in Life Fuel, dude. Look. There are, there are like five what? categories. No. Man, I was on this website for about four hours today. So I'm an extensive yeah. man of this of this website, right? So this is, there's Rage Fuel, which is stories to make you go, grr. There's Life Fuel, which is stories to make you go, oh yeah. There's, uh... <laughs> when I was like 18 or 17, I had my appendix removed. That actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was in hospital with me. That didn't happen. <laughs> and we were in the Elva tour, going down for surgery to put me under Antisha. <laughs> Bring in the Antisha. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm about to put this to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> There's the I one. I could have made it into the video if you used any word. We're going to release the Dan montage. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that requires the words and and. <laughs> To also become. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess my dad knew, he's he's a new dad, but the surgeons would see my penis during the operation. No. And in the Elvator, in front of the surgeons, he said that I needed a penis implant. <laughs> Which does, I'm Whoa. pretty sure it doesn't Wait, exist. Kind of I looked it up, I was desperate, and it doesn't exist. It's quite weird. I've gotten so low that I've developed new fetishes. I'm now sexually aroused by hearing a female voice. My reasoning behind that is because sound waves from her mouth are entering my ear. But part of her is going inside of me, and in her dark, warm, wet throat, two glistening strings are vibrating and sending off waves that exit her mouth and make their way into my ear. What was once inside her is now inside me. Is this making you uncomfortable? Right <laughs> yes. I've never understood why women think that they are worthy of love. All women are to me is a wet sack to wiggle my pee pee in, and I can't even do that. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to isn't that, isn't... wiggle my pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect man doesn't exist. I want to brutalize men that are better looking than me. Matt, you stay away. <laughs> All of you be careful, especially pretty boys, because I am an ugly curry ogre. And <laughs> I would do anything to be a nine till fiver. I want to put on my sweet in the morning and have my wife fix my cufflinks while looking at me like this. She would then hand me my lunch and briefcase while I go to punch the clock. So During the picture on the left. <laughs> <laughs> She would care for the home and children, which is a respectable and admirable job! I want to come home from work with the smell of a wondrously made dinner on the stove, while my wife is reading the newspaper to our boys about the local acquisition that I left for offer. <laughs> we would eat dinner together, then I would retire to my office for an hour to listen to the most recent boxing match. Afterwards, I would read my boys a bedtime story, before retiring to our bedroom for passionate sex with my wife, who remained virgin until after our wedding day. I'm her one and only, and she's my one and only.
On the weekends, I want to take my wife out to a fancy restaurant. Probably Dorsia. While walking in, a classmate from university will recognize me and comments that he sees my acquisition of the large firm in the paper. My wife then looks at me with 100% admiration in her eyes. Just like this. This is the life I was- Oh, sorry. This was the life I was <laughs> promised by my parents and piece of shit baby boomers. <laughs> this is all I've ever wanted. The baboons. <laughs> Don't use Tinder lol. That's a good way to hide from the truth. We have to face reality sometime. I want to make females cry. They deserve nothing but emotional pain. They have to pay for their sins and their oppression. <laughs> Not only emotional pain, physical pain as well. Insult to their face. <laughs> it triggers them beyond belief. They will just laugh it off, but later spent COUNTLESS HOURS AT THE MIRROR TRYING TO FIND OUT IF WHAT YOU SAID IS TRUE! I have tested it on my sister COUNTLESS TIMES! <laughs> if you're under 5 foot 5, it's over. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking to other people, I'm looking for the right woman. Before you read this one, think of every woman who's turned you down. <laughs> think of every femoid. <laughs> Think of every femoid that turned you down. Go. <laughs> oh, out! <Walt>! Oh, out! <laughs> oh, Walt! Human genocide now! <laughs> Once again, I retrieve further proof that all women are adulterous scum and each and every one of them! We're sitting with three foids at dinner. They were talking about partying tonight. One said, when I get fucked up, I just want to fuck everybody. <laughs> Three minutes later, I'm not fucking lying here. She started talking about she made a great fucking wife. It's how fucking retarded the usual femoids are. <coughs> <coughs> Another boy talk about when she was like fucked up. And I said, fucking man, fuck off, bitch. I'm fucking out of your cunt. <laughs> All femoids are adulterers! All femoids are adulterers! All femoids are adulterers! Take the right to win now! <laughs> I just feel a lot of emotions. <clears throat> Some girlfriends of my sister recently got a car and were driving to pick up my sis. What's the first thing she tells me? Don't go near windows! I don't want them to see you! How do I cope with this? Stay away from the windows. <laughs> <laughs> Even my wet dreams are fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is shaping up to be a 10 minute vid. What do you know? I don't. <laughs> 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 You've got it there, Charlie. <laughs> don't come back to that. I'm really, enjoy I'm really enjoying recording today. Shut the fuck up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> if the video is Fuck 10 you, minutes, can you put that at the end, please? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'll make it 9 minutes 59.